pizza, 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 pizza. I like trains. What is up, Pony Animals? How are you guys doing today? And welcome to what I can only describe as Papa Hut's Macaroni Maker Supreme 2017. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. All right, uh, Pizza Creator, Pizza Connection 3. This showed up on Steam randomly the other day. Um, so we're here to make a, a pizza. This dough is very liquidy, but... um. Oh yeah, there we go. We can we can make a, a kind of a donut pizza. Looks like um, we're gonna. I I have no clue what I'm doing here. Um, all right, that seems good. Sauce. Uh, so just give this sauce. Um, all right, cheese. We want we want some cheese. Let's get some cheese. Uh, can I, can I get some just like shredded cheese? I want shredded cheese. Let's make a... Maggots. That's what kind of game this is going to be, guys. Um, so let's, let's start here. We're going to start with some mozzarella cheese. Um, I'm a fan of some mozzarella. This looks kind of weird. Odd looking mozzarella. I was looking for some like shredded cheese, but you know, this is okay. I hope the music's not too loud. I have to turn mine down a little bit because that's still kind of loud. Uh, bit of like just a chunk of parmesan, you know, nothing um, nothing too good. Gargonzola, you know, that's a cheese you hear a lot about on pizzas. Um, all right, let's move on over to the the meats now. Just some raw pork, like, pork chops here. You see that? Just, just nice raw pork. Um, I'm going to cover this thing in bacon. doesn't look quite like bacon should necessarily, but um, we're going to, this is literally just going to be like a layer of bacon. Oh yes, and they said I can, I can rotate. There we go. Um, just a layer of bacon on here. Okay. Uh, some ground beef. Because, you know, could have some ground beef on that. Um, let's maybe put some sausage on the edges. Like it's a uh, kind of like a stuffed crust. But it's um, sausage. It's a sausage crust. Um, you know, just some nice sausage here on the edges. Um, there we go. And then we're gonna spice it up a little bit. Gotta put some put some shrimp on here as so well. Get a little little that shrimp shrimp action going on. Um, and then you know. Let's just, just, boom, banana. Just one. Don't need, don't need too much, too much, too much banana. Uh, just a little bit of parsley to spice it up a little bit. Haha, <laughs> spices. Um, and then let's get, let's get a little more cheese on here. Let's make it a uh, very gouda. This pizza is gonna be very gouda. Yeah. Um. And then let's, let's. Get some veggies. We gotta have some veggies. Um, you know that very popular sugar peas. That's a popular pizza ingredient. Sugar peas. <clears throat> Ooh, that one's on our um, banana. Eh, it's okay. And then we're gonna just onions. Lots and lots of onions. You know. Um. Oh, we can. Shred the cheese. Oh. I'm smart. Um, well, we'll get back to that next pizza, I suppose. 
because uh, this one's almost done. Just need um, a couple of carrots, and then let's finish it off with a um, a snake. There we go. Our pièce de résistance, uh, pizza no mano. Name this pizza. Um, hang on. Where'd my snake go? Where'd my snake go? The banana you gotta have the banana snake uh, casserole there we go all right um, we've got 5,000 grams of mozzarella 1800 grams of parmesan 300 grams of gargonzola 2,520 grams of pork, 27,500 grams of bacon, there you go, uh, 1,200 grams of beef, 880 grams of sausage, 1,600 grams of shrimp, 170 grams of banana, 36 grams of parsley, 80, no, 800 grams of gouda, 120 grams of sugar peas, 1,500 grams of onions, 200 grams of carrots and 1,000 grams of snake. Base price 495. Sale price 495. Um, profit margin one. Well, we can sell it for uh, let me say 624. There we go. Boom. Gotta we gotta share this pizza with Facebook. You guys, you guys be the be the vote. So this is this is gonna be pizza A. The Banana Nana Snake Castle. Um, we're gonna make a new one here. It's a triangle pizza. That's um looks a little funny. There we go. There we go. All right. There's our sauce. We don't want a snake on there. Um. All right. So we're gonna start off. With some cheese again but this time um, we can actually you know change the size of our stuff so lots of uh, mozzarella cheese here we go a nice a good pizza good pizza always starts with a good amount of cheese um, I wish I could put more sauce but I can't um, and then We'll just sprinkle some uh, Parmesan on there as well. But we'll come back to the Parmesan later. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna then top this off with you know a couple tomatoes. Um, just because there's not quite enough sauce on here. Uh, a bit of spinach. This is gonna be maybe a bit of a healthier pizza. So we get some we got some spinach. Um, and we'll put we'll put some olives on here too. A couple uh, black olives. Alright, yeah, so we can change it. Corn! You know, um, I don't know if you've ever had a pizza with corn on it, but this is going to be a really good pizza. Got some uh, corn. Um, we're going to come back over here to the uh, the meats. Um, grasshopper, you know, just some, some grasshopper chunks that adds a lot of protein. Grasshoppers are high in protein, in case you didn't know that. Um, and then we're also we're going to put some kangaroo meat. Um, Kangaroo meat is super healthy for you. Uh, and then, of course, some bacon bits. Gotta have the bacon. Lots of little uh, bacon bits everywhere. Um, well, this is gonna be a bit of a high class pizza as well, so we're gonna have caviar. Um, we can change the size of our caviar. Uh, let's go with the medium bits of caviar. We don't want it to be too expensive, but uh, there we go, some caviar, and then to just uh, top it off, some uh, salmon. The salmon and kangaroo meat, mm, perfect together. All right. Um, now a lot of people they'd like some pineapple on their pizza. Pineapple, that's that's okay. 
but we gotta go uh, superfood avocado. Um, the avocado mixed with the kangaroo and the salmon. Ooh, it's just perfect. And of course, banana slices. Gotta have that potassium. So get some bananas on there. And then we gotta just spice it up a little bit. So we're gonna put some uh, garlic. Top it with a bit of garlic, bit of basil, um, a little bit of parsley, chili, chili pepper, super important. Um, and then uh, garlic. I don't know if we got the garlic, but we're gonna we're gonna put some garlic along the crust. Um, it's gonna be a very delicious crust. A um, bit of oregano. And then we gotta come back and we gotta top it off with a little more, uh, a little more cheese. We already got the Parmesan. Let's go with some, um, let's go with some ricotta cheese. No, that's not ricotta. That's ricotta cheese. That's some other kind of cheese. Just a little, a little more cheese on here. And then, uh, we will get some Gouda cheese and put the Gouda on the crust with that, uh, garlic as well. Very, very delicious crust. And then that should be about it. Just a just a pinch of curry right there. And um yeah, let's let's garnish it with a uh, garnish it with a lemon. Right there. There we go. Alright. Alright, eight hundred and fifty grams of a... Uh, do I get to name it? I have to name it somewhere. 850 grams of mozzarella, lots of bit of parmesan, some tomatoes. We got uh, 80 grams of kangaroo. Don't forget that the caviar. Um, it's our pizza Nomano. The name of our pizza. High class. Super healthy. I missed the L. Super healthy. Great. Alright, so here's our second option, the high class, super healthy, great pizza. Uh, it's got a little bit of that grasshopper in there, just 420 grams of grasshopper. Um, really good source of protein. But the, uh, that caviar and the salmon, mm, those go really well together. With the, uh, the chili powder and the oregano. Uh, so that's, a, that's our uh, high class, super healthy, great pizza. Pizza. Alright, so... That's that one. Now let's go on and make our uh, third pizza. Now this one, um, decided to go with a, uh, a square crust for this pizza. It's got a, um, and we're going for that kind of deep dish sort of idea. Pepperoni? That's a different kind of pepper, okay. I was gonna say, that's not, it's not pepperoni. Um, all right, so this one, this is this is gonna be lit. Um, we're gonna start off with a uh, start off with um, maggots, you know, because uh, they they're, they're pretty good for you. Uh, they're not super filling though, so you gotta get a lot of them on here. Just lots of lots of maggots. Um, snake, snake meat. We don't want snake meat. Um, I'm gonna go with some more grasshoppers because those are, like I said, really good source of protein. Um, we don't need quite as many of those. But then we're gonna we're gonna come back over here to the uh, the cheese. We're gonna we're gonna just slather this with some um. Uh, let's go, let's go with the mozz, uh, let's go Parmesan. I've done lots of Parmesan, um, it's just really good. The, uh, grasshoppers and maggots taste really good with the Parmesan. So we're just gonna cover them up real nice. And then let's put some seasoning in here. Um, of course, not, it won't be complete without chili, so we need some chili powder. Let's get some let's get some sprinkles of chili in here too. So the the powder's a little too fine at times. 
So we've got that. We're going to get some uh, jalapenos. There we go. That's what we want. This one's going to be a spicy deep dish pizza. So lots of jalapenos in here. Um, just kind of fill this puppy up. Then a bit of curry. Do you want to go with some curry? Let's get some curry. Just kind of throw it all around all over there. Now, we got to go back. we got to get some, some more veggies. Um, I think we're going to go with some kiwis. Um, they had a nice, they had a nice flavor. It goes with the the spicy of the jalapenos and um, chili. Uh, we're also gonna, we're just gonna stick a, a pear on there, just a whole pear. Um, I'm gonna come back here. Let's see, we're gonna get some some salmon. I don't. This doesn't feel like a salmon sort of pizza to me. Um, so instead we're gonna, we're gonna come back here, we're gonna put a squid, just like a couple whole squid on here. Um, there we go, like three squid, and uh, you know, gotta have a, a lobster on there too. Let's put our lobster right there, the lobster is kind of protecting the pear, um, you know like they put apples in pig's mouths, this has got a, a lobster holding a pear. Gotta come back here. Get some more. Get some more uh, vegetables. Gotta have them veggies. Um, zucchini, of course. Zucchini. Uh, wildly good for your eyes if you um, put it on there. And then, of course, corn. Um, I know we put some corn on some of our previous uh, pizzas, but that's because it's really good. Gotta get a little bit of asparagus on here too. And, um, just cover this with spinach. Um, just edge to edge, lots, lots and lots of spinach. Right, I think we're good there. Well, we're gonna come back to the, uh, the cheese. Uh, we're gonna use some gouda again. Make this pizza very gouda. That's the second time I've made this joke, and it wasn't funny the second time. It was just as not funny the second time as it was the first. Get a little bit of chicken. Uh, everybody likes chicken. Um, there's a reason they serve it everywhere. Um, and we're gonna come back here. We're gonna get bacon. This pizza. This pizza is gonna be delicious. It's not a deep dish unless it's got bacon. Um, so we gotta cover this thing inch by inch with uh, some, some bacon. And it's got a bit of that um, cross weave. So, um, you know, it's gonna be good. And the bacon's, you know, weaved on there. So, there we go. And let's go one more piece of bacon in there. There we go, there's, there's our bacon. Um, we're also gonna, we're gonna, this is a fancy pizza, we're gonna line the um, crust, not with cheese and spices like you would think. We're lining the crust with um, shrimp. The shrimp are just kind of hanging off the edge of the deep dish. So, um, there we go. Let's keep getting these shrimp on here. There we go. Mm, one more side. I also gotta say, the music in this game is really nice. Um, I wanna hire this band to be at my wedding. Alright, uh, we gotta get a, get a little bit more cheese on here. We're gonna. Um, we've already done the Parmesan. I have no clue what this is. It looks like potato sticks. Let's go with the Gargonzola. Gargonzola is always a good cheese. So just top the, uh, the bacon here with some, some of that delicious Gargonzola. Hey, there we go. And then to top it off, our beers de resistance. Some ants. That's it, just just ants all over the pizza. Like this you better get your kitchen checked, because like there's freaking ants everywhere. And um they, they have an egg. 
There we go. And there's a ham, just a, a, a large ham with a sausage sticking out of it. You know, just, just everything, you know, like a, a pineapple. There's a freaking pineapple on our pizza. Um, like a jillion bananas. Yeah. Just cloves of garlic because screw you. Um, going back to chili, chili powder, lots of chili. Some parsley garnishes. Very nice. Just kind of spice up the edge of our pizza. That parsley. It's very nice. Very fancy. There we go. And of course, a lemon to top it off. There we go. There we go. 4,000 grams of maggots. 42,000 or 4,200 grams of grasshoppers. Uh, 93 grams of jalapenos. That's a little bit low, if you ask me. 220 grams of chili. That's pretty good. 4,000 grams of spinach. Now we're cooking. 3,400 grams of ants. Because, you know, ants. Um, we got that lobster in there. A couple squids. And, of course, it's not a deep dish unless it's expensive. $851 for this pizza. And we're calling it... We're calling it... The deep dish. The deepest dish network. Screw you. Deepest dish network. Screw you. capitalize that. There we go. Alright. Deepest, deepest Dish Network, screw you, amazing pizza, give me your money. Alright everybody, that's been our three pizzas. Take a look at that beauty. Let me know down in the comments below, give me a vote, which pizza you liked the most. Uh, I'll put the names up on the screen again because I don't remember what I called all of them. Um, but anyway, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. We'll be back and make more incredible pizzas. And um, if I hit uh, 500 likes on this video, I will make one of these in real life. Oh boy. I don't like the thought of that. Anyway, until next time, be of your butts. Stay some y'all. Deuces.